time in two town The word cat and cat is all Fortune and fame, top of the game Up and in Yes, it's your beautiful queen again. <laughs> I just wanted to say that sufficiency really does work. <laughs> Thanks to sufficiency. I'm rich. And I love it, it's great. <laughs> I'm so funny. And special. And... Now, you may be wondering about what sufficiency economy is about. It's actually a crime to, to, act, to question the, the king's sufficiency economy because that would be deemed insulting the monarchy. But that's what I'm going to do now. The sufficiency economy states that people need to know their place. If you're rich, you can spend a lot. And if you're poor, you have to tailor your spending your poverty so you don't get into debt. Well, you don't have to have a very large brain to come up with that kind of reactionary statement. The sufficiency economy is supposed to be a way out of an economic crisis. It's supposed to be a way to stop the poor um, going into debt. What they're really saying is the poor shouldn't spend money, then they wouldn't go into debt. They must be poor. They must starve. Their children must get, lack books. The sufficiency economy is not an economic theory. It doesn't talk about the role of the state or the market or how to manage the economy. In effect, the sufficiency economy is an ideology. It's a right-wing reactionary ideology which says that the king can be sufficient in his multiple palaces and the fact that he owns a large... Um, multinational corporations, and that the poor have to be sufficient in their poverty. The farmers in the fields have to be sufficient without a lack of proper investment. People working in factories have to be sufficient on the minimum wage. That's what it's about. And luckily, the people of Thailand are starting to understand that that is what it's about. They understand that the people that are telling them to be sufficient have never been sufficient themselves, or have always been sufficient, if you want to put it in another, in another way. The king has a swimming pool for his dog. A lot of people in Thailand don't have access to swimming pools. Many people in Thailand don't have access to proper equipped schools. That's the kind of thing that the sufficiency economy is about. Instead of a sufficiency economy, we need a proper welfare state. It's true. I'm gorgeous and rich. And you're so poor. Once upon a time in Toontown, there was cat 